Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm super hyped for this video because I'll finally be unboxing the Ducky 1-2 Rosa 2021 Chinese New Year Edition Mechanical Keyboard. This is my first ever mechanical keyboard and I could not be more excited. I've been watching keyboard and keycap review videos for so long, waiting until I found the perfect board for me. And for some reason, this keyboard randomly dropped in April rather than during Chinese New Year. So I swear I was stalking mechanicalkeyboards.com for months waiting for it to go on pre-order. I was able to place my order the day that it finally dropped and I ended up going with Cherry MX Brown switches. Of note, the 1-2 Rosa has a detachable USB Type-C interface as well as a 3-level adjustable keyboard stand. Additionally, there are independent keyboard indicator lights letting you know when your number lock, caps lock, scroll lock, or mouse functions are on. The 1-2 Rosa, however, does not have any sort of backlight or RGB, which I know is very important for a lot of keyboard enthusiasts. As a quick review, linear switches such as reds have no bump when you press on the key and have no audible clicking sound. Tactile switches, such as the browns that I got, have a tactile bump that you can feel when pressing down and they have no click. Clicky switches, such as blues, have tactile bumps as well as an audible click. The 1-2 Rosa model came with the options of Cherry MX Black, Brown, Blue, Red, Silver, or Silent Red switches. I honestly went on YouTube and based my purchase off of other people trying out the switches and seeing which one sounded the best to me, but I honestly should have just bought a switch tester for myself to see which one felt better to me in person. And yes, I know that browns are shit on by the mechanical keyboard community and are often called the worst parts of both blues and reds, but I honestly love the feeling of my browns. The clickiness of blues honestly just drives me crazy. And the key pressing on reds is just too uncomfortable for me, so this was definitely my best option. If you're not able to try out switches at a local store such as Best Buy, I'd highly recommend getting a switch tester. That way you don't get stuck with a beautiful keyboard with switches that you hate. Of course, you could always order different switches later on and then switch them out yourself, but that's just a lot of extra hassle than if they came with the switches that you wanted to begin with. I was previously using a wireless Dell chiclet that had trouble registering my keystrokes when I was typing too fast. I normally type around 80 to 90 words per minute and I would always have trouble registering certain keys such as A and E in the incorrect order since I'd be pressing them so fast along with other keys in close proximity. I'm not sure if this was just an issue with the specific keyboard that I had, but I knew that it was time for a change. Since switching my keyboard, I feel like I've been able to type so much faster, and since I also recently switched from being an emergency room scribe to a telescribe, being able to type really fast and efficiently with my keyboard is super important to me. My only complaint so far that I've had with the keyboard seems to be more of a desk and chair issue, honestly. At home, I never had issues with being able to reach the keyboard at a downwards angle, but since moving and getting a new desk, I feel like I'm having trouble pressing the keys and I'm reaching up rather than down. I'm currently looking for a new desk and hopefully can find one shorter so that I can type more seamlessly. The keyboard comes with three height levels, but all of them are taller than what I need. And it's probably just because my arms are really long and I'm super short. Overall, I couldn't be more happy about my switch from a chiclet to a mechanical keyboard. I still have to use laptop keyboards for work and school when I don't have my monitor, but it's not like it's the end of the world. I honestly prefer the looser clicky keyboard keys and laptops such as Dell's rather than those in the MacBook or the Chromebook. To end this video off, I provided a 1 minute typing sample for you guys to get an example of what the Cherry MX Brown switches sound like and how the keyboard overall looks when being used. I love you all so much and hope to see you guys in the next video.